Let me take you down Cause I'm going to What we've got on the Pepperizer is a lot of the um, original instruments sampled. So, for example, we've got the iconic Mellotron from the beginning of Strawberry Fields Forever. We've even got the uh, original Abbey Road pianos as sampled instruments. Uh, so this is the Challen upright piano, which was used on with a little help from my friends. We weren't able to get the Lowry DSO sample exactly, um, so we're using a thing called a Roxachord at the moment, which sounds very similar. So um, if you, this is for the sort of iconic introduction and verse to Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, so if you can give us a little tinkle on that. So you can see that's very similar, um, but it, unfortunately not quite the sample, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep going until November and maybe we'll get it. And then for the chorus of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, We've got the Hammond RT3, and this is pretty much a Hammond RT3, so give us a bit of that. Allow me to introduce you to Chris's great invention here. This is the zoned keyboard. It allows me to play three instruments at once. In this octave, I have the Lowry DSO. Lucy in the Sky. And this is the Hammond RT3. I've also got a tampura here, which I can also trigger and trigger with my foot as well. And there's also, of course, there's the other piano part there as well. So it means that we can do the whole sort of um, there we go. Like that. Obviously, I'll play it better than that on the night. <laughs> 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 um, for getting better, that's got a, an instrument called a pianet, which was built by Hona, um, who make the harmonicas and the accordions. And it works in a, it, it uses metal tines to make the sound of the of the piano, um, and it's quite a quite a distinctive sound. And it was actually used most famously on "I Am the Walrus," but it was first used on "Getting Better" on Sides of Peppers. You give us a. Um, what Greg's also got for getting better is there's some high piano notes and again it's very difficult for Greg to get around to the piano and while he's playing he's got to be playing the piano and he's got to be hitting this high piano note so what he can just use one key for that see there you go so he's got one key program so can you give us both of those maybe we need to make that piano louder but you can hear that piano in the background there there you go Super. The other Abbey Road piano, which we think was probably used on Sgt. Pepper, is a piano called Mrs. Mills, because it was played by a sort of, um, uh, I don't know, old-time uh, honky-tonk piano uh, player called Mrs. Mills. Um, and uh, it has a sort of honky-tonk out-of-tune kind of feel, and they deliberately kept it like that. Um, and um, I'm pretty sure that was used on Lovely Rita, so uh, it gives a bash of... Uh, of uh, Mrs. Mills. Yeah, that's from the intro of Lovely Rita.